The Eagles aren't the only football team in Philly with a new head coach this year. Under all the Chip Kelly hype, the Temple Owls have made their own coaching change at their disappointing 4-7 and seven season in 2012 under head coach Steve Adazga, who left for the Boston College job. Temple has decided to bring in Jeremy Dugan as the new head coach. I know you're all probably thinking to yourself, who the heck is Jeremy Dugan? And to be quite honest, I thought the same exact thing. This is his first ever coaching job in college football. He's been a high school coach in New Jersey. Most recently at Oak Crest High School, which isn't actually very far from Philly, believe it or not, and before that at Tom's River South High School, which is more towards the Jersey Shore. And personally, I love this move, and I hate it. I love it because since he's been a coach in two areas of New Jersey, that'll give us an advantage in bringing in and scouting recruits from both of those areas. I hate it because he hasn't proven himself as a college level, and as you go up the step ladder from high school to college and even to the pros, it's a whole different ball game at each step of that ladder. However, it will be interesting to see what Dugan can actually do with this Temple Isles team this year. A Temple Isles team with a very young roster this year, I also might add. The QB position is going to be quite interesting, or it could be quite dreadful. We could either see true freshman PJ Walker out of Elizabeth, New Jersey starting, we could see the junior Connor Riley, or we could even see the hometown kid Clinton Granger in his senior season. P.J. Walker is a young, scrambling quarterback and will most likely be the QB of the future here at Temple, but the question to be answered is, is he the QB of the now? Connor Riley is also unproven as pretty much the only things he's ever done is he's held field goals and extra points all last season, and the season before that, he came in and blow out shutouts against a few teams. He's more of a baseball player, as a fun fact, Connor Riley is currently the only multi-sport athlete at Temple University. And then we've got the senior, Clinton Juice Granger, and he's probably the safest bet, if you even want to call it that, since he just has more experience than the rest of the options on the football field. He played in seven games last season, started two of those in the place of Chris Coyer, who has made the switch to tight end this season, and will be starting there. And it seems like Coach Dugan is leaning towards P.J. Walker and just giving him the ball and giving him as much experience as he can get right out of the gate. But realistically, we could end up seeing a bit of all three of these guys this season. And as for the rest of the team, the backfield is going to be extremely young. Starting in the backfield is going to be, without a doubt, the junior Kenneth Harper. He's a 6-foot, 225-pound power back and could see a lot of carries this year to just take the pressure off of the QB situation. The receiving core will be led by team captain Ryan Alderman, 5'9", 175 pounds. He's very undersized for a Division I receiver, but he works harder than anyone on the field and the kid can flat out play. Then there's also junior Jalen Fitzpatrick, who led the team with 30 receptions and 363 yards and two touchdowns last season, and by no means are those big numbers, but we don't have a new coach in Philly here for no reason. You could also add tight end Chris Coyer into the mix there in the receiving core, as he hasn't exactly proven himself as a tight end on the college level, but he has proven himself as a QB as he did pretty decently well last year. And then if you flip things over to the defensive side of the ball, it'll be led by a strong linebacker core containing middle linebacker Nate D. Smith and team captain outside linebacker Tyler Matikovich. Another player worth mentioning on the defense would be another team captain, defensive tackle Levi Brown at 6'2", 300 pounds, who is a very talented defensive tackle. You could very well see him playing on Sundays next year. All in all, we should be in store for a pretty interesting 2013 season. But that'll wrap things up here for now, and be sure to tune in this weekend as the Owls travel to South Bend, Indiana to take on the Fighting Irish in Notre Dame.